think this is an amazing business. It's 150 year old this year. It's a business that's had a history of innovation back from whether it's how the business started, which was creating butter for healthy butter for people 150 years ago, right the way through the first business to do self checkout, the first business to do mobile scan and pay in the last few weeks. Sometimes people view old, older businesses as being less innovative. I, I, I disagree. I think if a business is going to survive 150 years, you, you have to be innovative. The combination of retail, the brand and, and being a business that's innovative, this is an amazing place to be. When you look at the data we have, I, I believe we have the probably the most exciting data set in the country. You think about what we know about our own customers through loyalty, what we know about our own customers from their shopping behaviour, what we know about customers through looking through the Argos lens, and actually what we know about customers through looking at the banking interaction. When you piece that all together and then look at the scale of 27 million customers, I think it's a really interesting view of the way the UK you know, lives its life. Just think for one second about the amount of data our business throws off having a bank, the UK's largest loyalty scheme, a huge online operation, stores, colleagues, customers. Um, my job is to really collate that information together to make it accessible for colleagues across the business and then to explore creative ways to make that data serve our business. How can we put that data to work to help us solve some of the biggest problems that we've got in the business, address the biggest opportunities? How can we use data to change the way we make decisions? We, we don't sort of overlook the, the enormity and the, and the privileged place we have in terms of understanding that about customers, but equally we know that if we can turn that around and make that data really useful for customers and living their lives. I'm a big believer that actually the digital revolution is gone in the businesses. If you haven't already transformed to be digital, you, you're not going to survive much longer. So now now it's about, assuming you've got digital capability, it's all about data. It's all about how quickly can you turn insight into action, how quickly can you adapt customer experience based on personalization. And that's why I think we've put so much emphasis on data in, in this business. Like, like most digital businesses now, data is at the heart of everything we do. If you, if you believe and we do that, delivering a personalized customer experience is, is the secret to success then you better know your customers better than everybody else. What we're doing is rebuilding our whole data ecosystem because we recognise that historically data was too siloed and held in different parts of the business. So sort of lifting the data out of its silos, democratising it and building a capability where insight can drive action all across the business.